Hi guys, good afternoon, it's afternoon over here and welcome back to my videos. My name is Ndatsi, Ndatsi Ndomo and if this is your first time watching any of my videos, you're welcome to my channel. Please have a look around. There's a lot of love and positivity on this channel. Life tips, entrepreneurship tips, career advice, finance advice and then of course there's beauty and fashion as well. So, um, I'm so sorry guys, I know it's been a minute, like there's been a lot of life changes and I've been traveling, I've been everywhere so, um, but I'm back now and I'm very excited to be doing this video for you guys. So, um, as you guys can already tell from the title bar, today's topic is about passion versus profession. I will be your king and I will meet your name, you and me for Um... As an introduction, the first thing I want to say is ideally, in an ideal world, in utopia, your passion and your profession should be the same thing. Like that thing which you really love to do the most, that thing which fuels your fire, that thing which keeps you burning, that thing which makes you feel alive, should actually be that thing that you're dedicating most of your productive time to. But in the real life, it's not always that way at least for a lot of people and i got inspired to do this video after i had a, a question and answer session from this uh teenage group called the grace clan so i got inspired to do this um topic and i just want to address like four tips to help you make a decision when it comes to deciding between what to give your most productive time your passion or your profession as i've said before your passion should be your profession and if it is not your if your passion is not your current profession you should work on falling in love with your current profession you should love what you do you should love waking up in the morning to go to work no matter what you do because that's what is feeding you right now and you should genuinely love what you do so if that is not the case while you're still working on that just work on being passionate about your profession and professional about your passion hey so um the first tip i want to or the first thing that's gonna help you like make a decision or a deciding factor for you is your environment now are uh, there are a lot of economy there's a lot of um countries and environments in which you are able to really like follow your passion if i put it that way so you're able to decide like okay i want to go into music okay i want to go into singing i want to be a dancer and your environment is actually enabling because this kind of environment or this kind of countries kind of take care of you uh your health care is almost free your education is almost free your children's education if you have kids is like almost free if not free uh you can get a house on mortgage or even in some countries you get a house for free uh feeding the cost of living is really not expensive so you don't really need to consider money as one of your priorities when you're trying to decide what to give your most productive time now this is not an excuse to be lazy but this if you are in this kind of environment um this it makes your decision easier like you can decide to really follow that thing which you really love to do without like having to do a normal typical nine to five or working for somebody else if you're not that kind of person so you have to consider your environment when you are making this decision you don't just jump and say okay i'm passionate about makeup so let me jump and um open a studio in an environment that might not be very enabling for me uh, now this doesn't work for everybody because there there are of course those cases where the environment is not enabling but they, people are able to really be successful with their passion but how, what's the percentage of these people so i'm just trying to say like while you work on make marrying both these are the things you should consider now my second um deciding factor for you guys is the economy some economies are really strong and money is not really a thing like you don't really have to consider having a lot of money to be successful like uh how much you earn is not necessarily the number one standard of success in some economies if you happen to live in this kind of economy then of course follow that thing which drives you i remember i have this friend um and he has an inheritance so he was asking me like i don't know what to really do with my life my mom has said like i should just choose anything because i have a lot of money waiting for me when i turn 21 and i'm like goals but not everybody has this kind of thing so and he also lives in an economy which is really stable and suitable for doing almost anything you want to do of course that is legit the third thing i want to do uh, the third deciding factor for you guys is planning and timing so you might be really good at something or you might be really passionate as, uh, about something but it might not necessarily be the right time for you to start it like you might need a lot of development a lot of training a lot of courses a lot of work in this 
on the side before you go into it so you need to plan your timing you need to be very strategic about your life you don't just wake up and say oh okay this is what i want to do and then you jump and you do it i'm not saying a spontaneous if you're a spontaneous person you cannot do it you can't but i'm like if you're planning long term you need to think of so many factors you need to consider so many things and be precise about your planning know what you want to achieve in life and how you are going to get there and then my fourth and final tip for you guys is finances so you need to consider your financial situation and your financial standing um are you one of those people who you know you have hand-me-downs or you already have a business which is doing well so you don't necessarily have to work the typical work for income if you're one of these people or maybe you have some investments somewhere that is pulling you money it's always easier for you to just kind of follow your passion and do that thing which you really love to do and give it your most productive time like i said it's also not an excuse to be lazy so if finance is not a major consideration for you when you're deciding then by all means go for it so um i just want to conclude by saying i don't i like i don't like to look at it as passion versus profession normally you should be passionate about your profession like this is where you spend most of your productive time that's if your passion is not your profession i really hope this <laughs> terms are not confusing you guys so you should be passionate about what you do anyways and whatever you're doing give it your all give it your best give it your hundred percent be the best you can be at whatever it is you are currently doing so that's it for this video guys i really hope this short and quick tips have helped uh, some of you who are a bit confused about what to do the next step to make uh to make a decision and to help you in your future plans and your career goals and until my next video guys i'm in that same on facebook snapchat twitter instagram and of course youtube here love you guys and see you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe click the red button down that says subscribe it's completely free click the bell button beside it um so you'd always get a notification anytime and every time your girl posts a video bye Stay